green islands and blue skies. The locals don't know how good they have it. The former lady of Cadnoa, and one time terrifier of harbor masters, if dockside tales are to be believed. You have not brought much good news of late. So, in addition to pirates, profiteers, and slavers, the dead fire has a vengeful god roaming its waters? Because the last thing the archipelago needs is another disaster tugging at the seams. He must be stopped. Determination. That's good. But you need a plan, and an ally. The Valians won't lift a finger if it isn't to snatch a coin, and the Huana will barely do that much. No one takes charge to solve the big problems. But perhaps we could work together to our mutual benefit. Look around. Dead fires full of fertile, temperate islands. Except for Andra's mortar, it's largely free of rough weather. Yet much of it is uninhabited. Itinerant tribes drift between some of the islands, and smugglers and slavers cluster around the rest. It's a waste. Imagine what this place could be with well-guarded shipping routes. How many Rauhataians we could feed with plantations here. That's a naive view, one our enemies are keen to promote. Rauhatai's violent storms have shaped and hardened us as much as they have our homeland's rocky terrain. But it remains a difficult place to live. So, we rely on trade. And on plantations we've established here. And those developments also create a more stable, productive dead fire. Trading company wants to leech every last coin they can from the dead fire, no matter the eventual cost. They're little more than thieves. The Principi are actual thieves, no matter their pretensions of nobility. And the Juana are happy to let them all pick away at their fractured empire. We're interested in building something here. If you're chasing the god who's stomping this place into the ground, then we have a common goal. And if you're going to survive here, then you could use an ally. The disaster at Hasongo remains a key concern. We rely on the port there to ship food back to Rawatai. That's on hold until you investigate. 
Short of that, there are other matters that demand attention. Atsura, our Grand Secretary, has a plan that would make use of your... unusual talents. His office is downstairs. He can tell you more. Hazatoa. Atsura and I usually have a game running. And this one's been going on for over a month and a half. Atsura's good at misdirection. But I've got a mind for the long game. You look like you've come with a purpose. It happened a year into my first command. We were chasing pirates along Rawatai's south coast, and they landed a shot right next to our magazine. A lucky hit. I ran below. The fire was already spreading and making for our powder stores. I smothered what I could with my uniform, pulled the rest away with my own hands. We don't get to choose our challenges, do we? Just the way we meet them. There's a cost to every victory, and the win goes to those willing to make a sacrifice. I'll bet you already know a thing or two about that, and if you don't, Deadfire will teach you soon enough. that goes with Hazanui. Watcher Nui, the Lady of Katnua. Not one for ostentation, but your remarkable display at Queen's birth suggests that you are an individual with skills, not mere style. Few with abilities like yours would be so humble about them. I am Atsura, Grand Secretary of the Royal Deadfire Company. And why not? Thousands of years ago, our people came from the archipelago. By one reckoning, we have as much claim on these islands as the Juana. But our purpose here is trade. While our homeland is rich in saltpeter, the violent climate and rocky soils make it a poor source for most other basic staples. It's my business to look after the mainland's interests here. And it's a pleasure to meet someone of your elegant manners. I wish I had been there to see your grand entrance at the palace, but I avoid Serpent's Crown as much as possible. It is a place of entirely too much talk, 
And I find that the more talk one hears, the less it means. Such is the world we live in. Were it different, all the locksmiths and masons in Aora would be out of work. And here our neighbors include a nation of pirates and a fractured people led by a figurehead, to say nothing of the Valians. Leave it to them to observe a substance that occurs nowhere else on Aora and immediately set about pulverizing it for profit. drive for innovation or their hunger for wealth. Besides, we know too little about Luminous Adra to understand the consequences of ripping it out. Perhaps you can help me keep them from doing more harm. It's not about what the Valians are doing to us, but rather to all of the dead fire. The demand for Luminous Adra has sent the Valian trading company into a frenzy. Their expeditions grow too bold and their officers too greedy. Worse, their rapid expansion attracts pirates and threatens the outlying Juana tribes. This risks souring the Kahanga royals against all foreign involvement. But you can curtail their growth. By snapping up land, we need to grow food and build ships for our people? Indeed. But our interests and dead fires are not mutually exclusive. The Valians have sent an expedition to Pococahara, a storm-wrecked island believed to house a vein of luminous. I hear you accomplished an incredible feat in restoring the luminous Adra near Port Maja. If your abilities allow you to do that, then perhaps you are also capable of the opposite. Find the luminous Adra at Pococahara. Render it unusable to the Valians. This should encourage them to develop the resources they have, rather than reaching for more. Deeply. But if a small sacrifice here will discourage the Valians from further ventures, then it is a worthwhile risk. Because Governors like Clario are a rare breed. Most of the Valian administrators care little for the well-being of the Juana. If the Valians claim Pococahara, it is the locals who will truly suffer. I do not have the precise location of Pococahara, but the tribe on the nearby island of Tikawara could probably help. I suggest starting there. Now, what else can I do for you? It's a trading post, of course. Anything worth building is worth protecting. How do you mean that? Mm -hmm. 
It comes from years of practice. It's the only way I've learned to beat Karanui at Hazatoa. Me neither. That's why I leave epics to the lore college. Criticism is easier than creation.